Well, hello everybody, and um, yes, I'm finally back with a new demo. <laughs> March 1st, it only took me three months. Two months, three months, anyway. Um, welcome back, and thank you for all the new subscribers, and thank you for being so patient waiting for another demo. Um, so today I thought I would um, show you how to create a little collage. This is a, a small piece of wood. And actually, I picked up a whole bunch of these. These are remnants from a stamp store, rubber stamp store, and these are wood mounts for unmounted rubber stamps. This one actually measures about two by three and a half inches, but they stand up like this. <laughs> so they make perfect little um, little pieces to put on your mantelpiece or on a shelf. So I've kind of been addicted to making these. Okay, so I'm going to create kind of a masculine themed one today. And I'm going to start with my wood piece. And I need a main image for my background and I want something collagey. So I created a collage sheet with lots of vintage ephemera and rubber, uh, not rubber stamps, postage stamps. And so this is just a piece taken from the collage sheet that I created and I'm going to use a gloss medium. This is Liquitex gloss medium. Oh, that's a huge bottle, but anyway, that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to put a layer of that gloss medium straight onto the wood. Okay. You don't have to be too neat and tidy. Just make sure you cover that whole surface and give it a really good, well, a pretty good coating. Okay, that should do it on that. I'm just going to lay my piece down here for my background. And you can centre it if you want to, or just put it wherever you feel comfortable. I haven't cut this to the exact size because I don't mind the edges showing. Now I'm just going to use my finger, and I forgot to bring my brayer down, but you can also use a brayer to just sort of press down on there, get rid of any air bubbles. Okay. So that's, the, and actually that looks pretty just good on its own, but you know me, I like to collage and embellish, so I also created another collage sheet with Vintage uh, Gentleman, and I quite like this chap here. So I'm going to use him on this piece. So what I'm going to do again is put another layer of the gloss medium directly over the paper here. And as I'm doing this, this is helping to seal everything too. And I'm doing this fairly quickly. These are really not time consuming. These are really pretty quick to make. So I'm going to pop him down at the bottom here. Okay. And again, just put put your image wherever you want, you know, your subject wherever you're wanting to go. And then use my finger once again. And then I am going to put another little, just a fairly thin layer of the gloss medium again over the top to help seal our rather dapper looking gentleman here. And then I thought, well, he needs kind of a hat or something. So I took some old dictionary paper and I cut him out a little hat. And then I used the stays on black ink, or any black ink will do. And I kind of edged around the edges and, and let it run over the sides here to give it that more of an aged look. I'm going to pop his hat on. <laughs> Maybe bring that down a little. Oh, no, it doesn't want to move on. I'm not going to test it. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of gloss medium on top there. Sort of seal the hat there. I'm just going to lift him up so you can... I don't know how the lighting is here. So that's where we are so far. Okay, the next thing I want to do is put some words on here. And I just sort of came across my stash of words here. And this one said be different. So I thought that was quite applicable to this chap here. So and I'm actually going to pop the words directly on him because I still have gel medium, sorry, gloss medium still on here. That will stick right down. Press with my finger. And I'm going to pop a little bit more of the gloss medium over the top. Just sort of smooth everything out here. Okay. Now, I would normally wait for this to dry before I do the next thing. And actually, as I do the next thing, it might dry around here. But I also want to sort of put a bit of sparkle on this, but nothing too sparkly because this is, you know, it's a chap. So he doesn't want anything pink and frilly. So <laughs> I have these strings of sequins and I have the gold 
and I have copper and I'm going to just you know I think the copper just looks really good there let's try the gold that's a little too shiny I think I prefer the copper now I, as I say I would normally wait for this step to finish drying but for demonstration purposes I am going to use a touch of this new glue that I have recently been introduced to, Beacons 3-in-1 Advanced Craft Glue. And it's fantastic. It's clear, it dries really quickly, and it adheres a lot of stuff, especially heavier things. But the only thing is it's a little stringy, so if I can show you. What I do is I take um, a bamboo skew and I dip it in. Sorry, this is a really bad demonstration here. <laughs> and then I so just sort of twizzle the stick so it takes up all those stringy bits. And then I'm going to pop a layer of this just on my bottom here. Whoops. Oops, need a little bit more there. I should have waited for that medium to dry. Oh yes, I should have done. But actually the, the gloss medium might hold this just so I can show you. I'm going to pop that down. And then press down so it really sticks. And it just adds that extra touch of, you know, just looks a bit more blingy. Okay, the next thing I would do, and I'm just going to see, that's fairly dry up at the corner here. This corner looks a little empty, so I'm going to take a rubber stamp. And I quite like this stamp here. So I'm going to take my Stays On Jet Black, which is this little beauty here, and ink my stamp. Okay, and I'm just going to, let's see if I can line it up a little bit at least. Oh, I hope the medium is dry. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Oh, shoot. Never mind. You know what? Actually, I kind of like the way that it came out. And I could scrap this and start all over again, but I'm not going to because I like it. And maybe when it's dry, I'll pop another layer of a rubber stamp on there and, you know, I should have just left that, let that dry. But there you go, we all make mistakes, but the, it's a happy mistake. So this is how it kind of would look. <laughs> Actually, it's not looking quite so great as I want it to, but wait. As they say on the infomercials, there's more. I have two that I created yesterday, which are completely dry. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy knocking my camera. Okay, so here's one chap. And I kind of did the same thing. I did the copper sequins here. I put Artful Me. That's how the stamp should look. <laughs> and a uh, little bird and a crown on him. Oh no, look, the sequin fell off. And then the other one that I did yesterday, I thought this was kind of sweet. This came out pretty nice. And this is a young chap, probably 15, 16, and I put sweet prints on there and I actually took the stays on black ink and stamped a border around the edge of the wood and I actually used this little stamp here and I just repeated it several times around the, the border to create a frame. So there you go, I um, don't think that's me my best demo but my three chaps. There we go. <laughs> a little triptych there. Okay, well thank you so much for watching everybody. I'm a bit rusty today, but never mind. I will be back for another one soon. Take care. Bye.